नमो नमः नमो नमः सर्वेशां भवतां स्वागतम् दर टुडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड फ्यू श्लोकस फ्रॉम तंत्रलोका तंत्रलोका इज द मोस्ट मेबी द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट वर्क ऑफ अभिनव गुप्ता टू लिव इन द टेंथ सेंचुरी एंड द टेंथ सेंचुरी लेवल बिगिनिंग ऑफ इलेवेंथ सेंचुरी एंड so he discusses in this this chapter has, this book has eight volumes but we are going to read only a few shlokas and the book has 37 chapters and each chapter deals with different topics mostly with yoga practice most of the practice with yoga <clears throat> and the, the, divided into so the first chapter is introduction the second chapter deals with the highest upaya, the, 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 the supreme means of um, the third chapter deals that is actually anupaya, which means no need for any upaya, no need for any means. The third is shambhava upaya, the third chapter. And then the fourth chapter is shakta upaya, that mostly deals with mantra. And then the fifth chapter is um, anupaya, anupaya, that begins with various ordinary yoga practices. And then <clears throat> this goes on, describes these practices until chapter 14, and then chapter 15, he begins to talk about initiation and rituals. Rituals. And, but he interprets them in a very elevated way, way, not necessarily in the ordinary sense. So we are going to read from the fourth chapter, one small sh uh, section. That it has, uh, it's, it will take a very long time to even read what I really have in mind. So, and it will also require a lot of explanation. So I will just, um, those shlokas that I gave you, to try to translate. Only two of you, <laughs> Milan, of course, um, didn't have time. and. Uh, so uh, this is Shoka um, 181 and 182 of, and uh, actually 181b to 183. Um, but I'm going to, after we finish this, I'm going to go on explaining a little bit more and read a few more Shlokas and some that are not really interesting. So, uh, Okay, let's see if you have if you have been successful, uh, Dragons and Bites, in trying to solve the to trying to translate these words. They were not working. Nothing, huh? Okay, that is it's not very easy, yes. Paramarsha svabhava tva etasya hayaha svayam dvanihi sato uditaha saha evo uktaha. Paramam Hardayam Mahat. So the words, the shlokam, uh, okay, it will require also a lot of explanation of various technical terms. So etasya, etasya means of this consciousness, Paramarsha uh, Svabhava because the very, the essential nature the Svabhava of this consciousness is Paramash. If you remember last time I was talking about I was talking about um, um, Prakasha and Vimarsha. Yeah? Prakasha and Vimarsha. Prakasha was the light of consciousness, that transparent light <clears throat> onto which on the screen of which all these events, all these perceptions, all these things we experience occurs. And this paramarsha is the reflect the reflective awareness of that. So the, the nature of vimarsha, paramarsha, vimarsha, amarsha, abhimarsha, prati avamarsha. Many different meanings, but very similar meanings, very different words, but very similar meanings. So sometimes used, uh, it's, very, it's, it's very complicated. So, but here, this paramarsha means vimarsha. So it, the very essential nature of this, of this, um, 
of this light of the consciousness is its paramarsha, its reflective awareness. Now, what does it mean that reflective awareness? It means that it, it is always, I said it, it is always engaged in perception, right? The consciousness is always engaged in perception. It either goes outside in desiring to experience an object. It reflects the nature of that object. It goes outside. And sometimes it turns back onto itself, right? And reflects its own nature. Okay? Then it becomes more, people become more uh, inward orientated, become more contemplative, become, become to think, try to understand. So they, the consciousness begins to reflect its own self. Now what it says here, now because of this, because that it possesses this quality of reflective awareness, this consciousness, Yaha Svayam Dvanihi. Now this Dvanihi, which is Svayam, which is one's own, that Dvanihi means the sound. Dvanihi means sound which is once old, and which is sado udita. It is permanently arisen. Means, okay, it will be explained later. Saha evo uktaha paramam hardayam mahar. And it is called, this sound is called in the, in, the, in the Shastras, in the scriptures, paramam, the supreme. The hardayam mahat, the great heart. Now, the great heart means the heart of consciousness. And what is heart? The heart is the center, the very center of consciousness. Now, just a little bit here. Yaha khalo paravalu baha. Now, he said that dvani he, he the commentator explains to be, yaha khalo paravalu baha. It is of the nature of paravak, the supreme.